Welcome to Mobile Math, Math Lessons on the Go. Today's learning goal, by the end of this lesson, I should be able to add double and triple digit positive numbers together without the use of a calculator or any kind of technology. So let's get right into it. We have two models to look at. Uh, in the previous video, we looked at something called the number model, where we take the numbers we were given, in this case 59 plus 27, and we break them into groups of 10, ones, uh, as we're going to see in the next example, we'll include hundreds into that group. So you can see in this particular example, the 59 has become a 50 and a 9. The 27 became a 20 plus a 7. I rearranged them so that 10s are written close to each other, 1s are written close to each other. Uh, in this case, I can see that this 9 plus 7, I may reconsider the 7 as a 6 plus a 1. And I'm going to borrow that 1 and combine it with the 9 to create this new group of 10. On the third line you can see I have 50 plus 20 plus 10 or 5 groups of 10, 2 groups of 10, 1 group of 10. When I bring those all together I have 80 as the sum or result and then I just have to add the 1's to it which is an additional 6 for a grand total of 86. Now the column model I think you'll really like and it takes a significantly less amount of writing to solve the problems but it doesn't, doesn't it does require that you understand keeping track of groups of tens, groups of one hundreds, and where they move within the problem. So when I add 9 plus 7 together, I would get 16. Now 16 is really a group of 10 plus a group of 6. So the rule we sort of follow for using the column model is that in each column, you can see there are three, purple, blue, and green here. In each column you can only have a single digit. So 16 is a double digit number. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep the 6 as the 1's and I'm going to carry the 10, that's part of the 16, over to the second column where we can keep track of that. So I will erase the 16, I will keep the 6 which is the 1's component and I will carry over the 1 to the group of 10's in the 10's column. When I add up 5 groups of 10 plus 2 groups of 10 plus the 1 I carried over, I get 8 groups of 10 or 86 and you can see these groups of 10s right here in the number model that's where they come from so I get the same answer both ways but one requires significantly less writing. Let's try some larger numbers so 146 plus 82 so if I have the 146 broken down into hundreds tens and ones this time and the 82 broken down into tens and ones I rearrange the problem. Uh, when I'm adding up the tens here, you'll notice that 40 plus 80 gives me 120. So I actually have enough tens there to form a group of 100. So I will break the 120 down into a group of 100 plus a group of 20. And then the two groups of 100 will be combined to make 200, plus 20 more is 220, plus 8 more gives me a total of 228. In the column model, when I'm adding up the ones, 6 plus 2 is 8, so that's a single digit. It has not created any groups of 10, so I have no carryover from the ones column. When I'm adding up the tens column, I have 4 groups of 10 plus 8 more groups of 10. That's 12 groups of 10, so I've exceeded the single digit. I've also created a group of 100, so I keep the 2 and I carry over one group of 100 to the, sec or to the hundreds column. One group of 100 plus a second group of 100 is two groups of 100, and you'll notice the final value here is 228, just like the number model. Let's do our third and final example. These have fa fairly large numbers, 522 plus 394. So again, I've broken the numbers down into their tens, hundreds, and ones. I then take a moment to rearrange them so they're all close to each other, and right away I see 20 plus 90 is going to create 110, so that's going to create a new group of 100. So on the next line, I may have to break down the 110 into a group of 100 plus a group of 10. And then when I start counting 100s, I have a total of 9 100s, 1 group of 10, one, and 6 1s for a total of 916. If we come over to the column model, when I add up the 1s, I get six ones together, so there's no carryover. It did not create a group of 10. When I add up the tens column, I get 11 groups of 10. So I've created 
another group of 100, or if you want to think of it as the single digit rule, I have my 1 here and I have to carry one group of 100 over to the 100's column, and then when I add up those groups of 100, 3, 5, and one more is 9 groups of 100, or 916, I get the exact same answer with significantly less writing. I'll give you a chance to try two on your own here, so if you could hit pause on the video right now, please. So press pause, try these, and then we'll have a quick look at the answers. Okay, welcome back. So 87 plus 44, if you want to see what a solution, one possible solution looks like using a number model. You can see how we've still broken the numbers up in the tens and ones. We get 131. From the column model, 7 plus 4 is 11. I have to carry that group of 10 over. I have an 8 groups of 10, 4 groups of 10, and another group of 10 for a total of 13 groups of 10, or 130. And you'll notice I get 131 for both. 314 plus 219, again I've broken it down or chunked it into the different groups of hundreds, tens, and ones. By the time we combine those all together we get 533. If I use the column model, 9 and 4 together is 13, so I have to carry one over. I have 1, 2, 3 groups of 10 for a total of 30, and 3 plus 2 is 5 groups of 100, and I get the same value of 533. So thank you for watching. Please watch again and pause where you may have had difficulties. Good luck in your problem solving. Hope you enjoyed this particular lesson.